I think this is one of the most remarkable aspects of a near-death experience, and it's one that's not really given the amount of attention that it should. Obviously, many people know about the light, they know about the out-of-body experience, but the thing that really is, I think, important about the near-death experience and in, in regard to the life review phenomenon is it isn't just a life review. It's a reliving of your life. And when people describe this, not, it's not always done in this way, but when people describe the full experience, it's every single act that you have done, every single thought that you have thought, every single word that you have spoken, suddenly all of this is back with you. You, have a, you, have, you are running through it again, and as you say, you see and you experience the effects of these acts, these thoughts, and these words of other people. Let me just give you one brief example to illustrate this. I have a friend who, had a, uh, who when growing up, was kind of a, uh, a roughneck. He had, had a hot temper, and he was always getting into scrapes. And one day, he was driving in his truck through the suburb in the town where he lived, and he almost hit a pedestrian. And he got very aggravated at this pedestrian, and he was a very big physical guy, still is. And uh, a fight ensued, and he punched this guy out and left him unconscious on the pavement, got back into his truck and roared off. Fifteen years later, this guy has a near-death experience. Oddly enough, it was caused by, uh, by an accident in regard to his own truck at that time. But in any event, he has a near-death experience, and during the near-death experience, he has a life review. And in his life review, this particular scene where of the fight takes place again, comes up in his life review. And he said that, as many people do, he, had, he kind of experienced this from a dual aspect. There was a part of him that was almost as if he were high up in a building, looking through a window and seeing the fight below. But at the same time he was observing the fight like a spectator, he found himself in the fight, except this time he found himself in the role of the other person. And he felt all 32 blows that he had rained on this person originally 15 years ago now being inflicted upon himself. He felt his teeth cracking. He felt the blood in his teeth. He felt everything that this other person must have felt at that particular time. It was a complete role reversal, an empathic uh, life review experience. And this is the sort of thing that many people report. And when they report these kinds of experiences, they realize that in our life, we are the very people that we hurt. We are the very people that we help to feel good. And we experience these actions as though done to ourselves in the life review. So that when people start talking about the, the golden rule in the context of the near-death experience, the golden rule is not just a precept for moral conduct. It's the way it works. And you experience this during the life review. And you learn that lesson in a very forcible way as a result of going through this kind of experience. And that's why when people have NDEs, they change as much as they do. Because if, can, if you can even imagine what it must be like to go through your entire life and see everything that you've ever done without judgment, but, but from a kind of almost omniscient point of view with regard to the effects of those actions and see what your actions do to other people it's a heavy kind of lesson and you're not you're not some it, it's something that st that stays with you and it informs your conduct for you know for the time after your near-death experience so it does give us a lot to think about and that's why I say in my book lessons from the light the near-death experience isn't given just to those who have the experience it's given to all of us to learn from because all of us can profit by the lessons that near-death experiences learn in the course of the life review or other aspects of their experience and we can grow from these lessons we can apply these lessons into our daily life.